Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you out there, men and women. Uh, I'm going to check in really quick because I know some of you guys got plans with your spouses, with your boyfriends, with your girlfriends, uh, and so forth. So, um, really quickly, so one of the one of the main reasons we, um, as a culture, hey Brent, uh, as a um, as a society, one of the reasons we we have a hard time uh, sticking to a health strategy or a health plan. Uh, or staying in shape is that we have too many made up artificial reasons to celebrate, right? We have too many of these occasions like Valentine's Day, like St. Patty's Day, like some are real, like Easter. And if you go through the calendar, the American calendar, you'll see every month it has at least one day where we are have artificially created a reason to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, you know, um, getting out of school, graduation, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know, not to mention Halloween, Thanksgiving, all these holidays, all these these uh, reasons to celebrate Valentine's Day, um, New Year's, and so when you stack on top of that, all of the other things we do, um, the reasons we celebrate like anniversaries, like birthdays, um, like all these other reasons we do to celebrate. You have all these ways to to eat um, and gain weight, right, for some fake artificial reason. So that's one of the reasons we, um, as a society, gain weight, right? So um, we have to watch that. And so one thing we can do to, to, to make sure we don't fall prey to that is we can't also, we can't do that and then have other reasons, other ways um, of, of building up our G tank and not depleting it, right? So if you have a Valentine's Day dinner plan, you can't go to lunch, have a big breakfast, right? If you have a birthday dinner planned, you can't have drinks with your buddies at work, right? So we have to plan around these events, even if we don't avoid all of them. I would argue you can't do all the events every year and be in shape. In fact, I did today argue that. You can't enjoy all of these artificial reasons to celebrate and be in shape. You know, that's at least one, one every month, right? And then when you, when you add to that again, the weekends, the, the happy hours, the anniversaries, the birthdays, we have to watch it, right? So be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. All right, so now, having said that, uh, today's Valentine's Day. Right, one of those dates, and so uh, I am baking my wife. Who just walked in, baking my wife a cake uh, for Valentine's Day. Right, so um, I planned for that though. Right, I didn't. I didn't have a big breakfast. I didn't go out and and eat lunch with my buddies, uh, knowing that, like many of you, I have some food, some glycogen, glucose intake planned for the evening for tonight. So I made sure that I watched and continue to watch my G tank uh, intake throughout the day, all right? Um, and I also do it for other reasons. What's up, Big Rob? I also do it for other reasons, right? So part of why we should be working out is because we know people around us are watching this, right? You know, part of, part of the journey, part of what's gonna make you successful is having a strong why as to why you're working out, right? And I've, I've talked about how, how few things bother me more uh, at my children's events when I watch a parent get on their son or daughter about hustling, about working hard, about whatever it is uh, in the sporting event and, and knowing that they have let go of their fitness goals and their journey and they've committed you know, on and off to losing weight and they've yet to commit and, and follow through on something they're asking their kids to follow through on. So, and we can say all we want about, you know, hustle and, 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 but they see you, they watch you. And so they learn as much about, about what they should do in life by what you do as what you say, right? So we have to model what we want our children to do, right? So part of why I'm baking my wife a cake, part of why I, I make dinner for her, I, I, I fold clothes, 
is because I want my children to see what I believe a, a real man should look like, right? So for Valentine's Day, I want my daughter, who's 15 now, to know what a man should do for her, right, when she gets older, right? I want my son, right, to understand you can be big and strong and still bake a cake for your wife, make dinner, fold clothes, clean the house, right? So I'm trying to model for my children what my dad did for me, right, is model to them what a man should look like, in my opinion, right? So your kids are watching you. And so even though uh, there's two steps to this, even though I told you guys, you got to make sure that you guys, you know, are cognizant of your G tank, of your glucose tank, your glycogen tank. And on those days, those fake celebratory days, like Valentine's Day, whatever, New Year, whatever it is, right? I'm not judging. I'm just saying we've created these opportunities throughout the year to overindulge. If we're going to do that, we have to be, be mindful of that and get a workout in. You know, watch our glucose intake beforehand. Take ketones like I do to make sure we um, are, are at least protecting our, our body from storing body fat. All right. Uh, but, you know, you got to have fun. Right. So when you do have fun, you know, be mindful of the things you do. Right. And so, again, whatever we do, we make sure that people around us, um, that we know people around us are watching us. So, again, it relates to fitness. Right. I'm baking a cake for my wife. I'm, I'm, I'm doing things because I want her to know what a man that she dates, a man that she marries should do for her. Right. And I want my son to know, even though he's a baller and is going to work out um, and admires me from the standpoint of fitness. I want him to know that he can be both. He doesn't need to be in a box of a guy who's cool and fit and plays sports. Uh, he can also do the things that, that are sensitive in our society that make him a complete person, right? Let alone a complete man. What's up, Richard? So uh, so happy Valentine's Day. Hope that's mess that, that message resonates with you guys. Uh, I'm not telling you guys to avoid stuff, to avoid holidays, to avoid events, to avoid dinners, to avoid cake. Uh, which I will be eating in about two hours, right? What I'm saying is be mindful of how the body reacts to that, right? And if you're going to do that, make sure that you do things to prepare your body as to not store body fat, right? And then, you know, everything we do, you know, relating today, you know, my, my Valentine's Day to, to fitness, you know, we do things mindful that people are watching us. Someone's always watching you, especially your kids, and if you want them to know how important it is to be fit, you have to be fit. If you want them to know how important health is, you have to take care of your health. If you want them to know how important it is to, to, to build habits, to overcome things that are hard, you have to do that. Right? You have to do that. You can't tell your kids it's important to be healthy and to be fit, and then you don't do it. Right? And so I can't tell my... To my daughter, she needs to find a man or date a man who understands and takes care of her. And I don't do that. Right? I can't tell my son, you know, how he should treat a woman when I don't do that. Right? So it's a two-handed lesson. Right? It's a two-sided lesson. Right? I watched what I ate today so I can have cake, much as I want probably. But I'm also doing that so my daughter and son can see uh, what I think a real man should be doing for his family and his, and his wife. All right. So enjoy your day. Enjoy your day, guys. Thank you, Kim. Hi, Raji. What's up, DP? Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, my wife just walked in. Actually, I was going to try to surprise her with the cake, but it's still going to be good. Right. Um, in case you're wondering, vanilla, because my son doesn't like chocolate with strawberry frosting. All right, guys. Have a good evening. Uh, don't overindulge and then tomorrow get back to work. All right, guys. Love you guys. Have a good evening. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.